Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Selner here with head softball coach Sarah O'Malley Fisher. Coach, building off of a very successful record setting year for you guys last year, how do you think you guys have had an off season to transition without a good group of seniors that left us last year to have another successful 2017 campaign? Well, I think the girls that came back this year kind of recommitted and uh, the coaching staff actually recommitted to doing some things that were outside of the softball realm. So we started with our weight room, um, our fitness, um, all the, the conditioning that we did in the fall. We really kind of redid things and tried to reevaluate those types of things. And, and the girls bought into it in the fall. Um, and they really had some great strides down in the weight room. And I think it's really paid off a lot more um, physically for them right now as we're getting ready to go out to Florida this week. So, you know, every year you want to try and do something a little bit different. You lose kids, but you have kids that come back. They step up. You have new girls who come in, and, and they're defining their roles. And that's going to be an important part for how we, as this team this year, which is Team 5, our 2017 team, gets ready to play uh, this coming Sunday. How does it translate to success? Because you've been around the softball world a long time. To have a group buy in as much as they have to everything you're doing from the weight room to what's on the field, that how that can kind of translate to success. Well, it's the commitment level. You know, it goes into making that greater individual commitment each and every year you come back. So if you're going to be committed in the weight room, you're going to be committed to doing things the right way on the field. And that's what we had to have the girls really kind of buy back into um, and readjust as we went in. So that commitment, you know, whatever the results are on the field in the long run, we're going to have them successful. So Now we'll start previewing a little bit of your team. Uh, Julian Nation, Courtney Pepper, and Marita Van Dyke, are, you're really you're going to be rotating through the three of them on the pitching staff. Marita really kind of came alive as one of your main pitchers last year. Now she's in her sophomore year, and the big, big things are expected. Yeah, they are expected of her, but what she's done again is she's made that commitment, and that commitment in the weight room, and the, that commitment to the off-season type stuff has really gotten all three of them into really great shape. And so having them in shape, having them make sure that they're physically fit for our season, you know, it's a short, very compact season. It goes by very fast um, because they're going to get a lot of time in the circle, all three of them. They all three committed to doing that. And, and you can see a little bit more pop on their ball. You can see a little bit more move in their legs. Um, it's just it's been kind of fun to see, you know, so that commitment level will help us tremendously in the circle. Now around your infield, really Michelle Alexander helps lead the uh, whole infield. She's been around here for quite some time. Then you have Melissa Balcoma, Steph Deanna. Those have all played a lot of time together over the past couple seasons. Now that they've really had that experience, there's a really just continued expectation that they'll pick up where they left off. Yeah, I think we've had some really great competition along the way. Um, you know, having some some young ones come in and challenge for certain roles, certain positions, I think that's kind of helped us kind of get our defense into the right frame of mind and where we really want to kind of be. Um, you know, when you have senior leadership like Michelle, who's coming in. Uh, we also have Emily Owens who's coming back. She's coming off of some shoulder surgery, but she's way ahead of schedule on that. Um, so have, to have them back is, is a huge part of, of where we're going to be. Um, Steph had a fantastic year last year, and I know she's just going to keep getting better and better, and so is Melissa. But we have some young kids that are coming in that are also going to be fighting for those roles on the field too, which I think has helped us get better. Now, it, Emily Owens had a lot of time behind the dish. Who else can kind of fit into there? Because Sydney Getz also saw a little bit of time back there last year. And I know you have a couple newcomers that are kind of fighting for those roles. Yeah, we do. Emily did a really great job for us catching-wise last year. Uh, Sydney Getz is coming back. And then we have two freshmen, um, Taylor. I'm going to pronounce her name wrong because I always do. I'm going to call her Taylor K. Um, <laughs> and then Riley McGuire, two other freshmen who have come into play. And, and they're both making tremendous impact. They both have a tremendous impact behind the plate. Um, you know, and having Emily back again, being able to lead those two as well as Sydney, I mean, her vocalness in practice, even though she's not technically ready to go yet, she's been vocal. She's leading them in a lot of different ways, and that's only going to help us. And then first base is the one spot that there isn't anybody returning on the infield. How is that kind of competition shaped up? We have a, a junior college transfer and Katie Sullivan who's come in, and she's done a really great job there. We've also had Sydney there. We've had Marita there. We've had... Uh, Michelle there, we've had, you know, we've had a lot of people there. So it, it's going to be one of those things where I think um, offensively making our lineup the strongest we can, that's going to be the position that we're going to be able to have some flexibility. Now in the outfield, Allison Kruk has been patrolling center. She can just absolutely fly. You also have Megan Strong. Courtney's been out there. And then again, the newcomers, there's a lot of people that are competing. And I feel like that's kind of the overall theme of this team that they're well all of them are willing to compete for jobs and none of them are going to back down from the competition so we have some utility players who are going to be helping us out in the outfield as well I forgot to mention Maddie Knobloch in the infield but we have Kristen Landon and Liz Foxley who will be vying for some time in the outfield and Kristen has been that utility player that's been in and out for us 
So she's probably going to see some time somewhere along the line. We just don't know where that's going to be yet. You know, Outfield-wise, Megan Strong has looked fantastic. She committed to the weight room. She committed to getting herself in better shape, and she's looking pretty good um, out in the outfield as well. And then Julianne Nation has played out there. Um, Courtney will get some time out there. Allison will get some time out there. You but guys Kristen get to fly out. I'm excited. We get to go to some sunshine. You guys have got, had the opportunity to get outside on the field, which I think mm -hmm. is a big bonus this year. But preview the Florida trip. There's some very good competition. A lot of teams that had a lot of success last year, just like you guys. So it's going to be a very good test all week long in the 10-game stretch. Yeah, absolutely. Spring training is basically what spring break is. We're going out there, we're going to try and, and, and develop our lineup so that we're ready to go for our conference schedule when we come there. We're going to have some people who will be playing different positions and get some opportunities here and there. Uh, but we're really using it as a way for us to tune up. And I asked to play the hardest schedule we possibly could. So the teams that they gave to us, I'm excited to see them. We've never seen any of them before. And I, that's fun when you're playing teams in a different jersey from a different part of the country. They bring a different attitude and different effort, a different level of competition all the time. So it keeps you moving in the right direction that way. And then it gets us ready for a really competitive conference schedule again. And that's really what spring break and spring training is all about. It's using that time to just find the little things to get you better. We look forward to seeing you guys back out on the field. Cougars take to the field in a week. They will be on the field on Sunday in Florida. You can find the links to live audio and live stats at cucougars.com. For head coach Sarah O'Malley-Fisher, I'm CJ Selner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.